I'm out again um, and I'm at the same sort of general area that I was at uh, in the last video I did before the lockdown, the Spring Blues one, um, up at Minning Low. And I wanted to kind of do a, a sort of bookend to that. Um, now that we're just starting to come out of the uh, out of the lockdown and you know it, things are getting a little bit easier I just wanted to kind of do a video where I'm coming back to the sort of same sort of location and uh, you know just doing a slightly different painting and just seeing how it goes and um, so I thought it'd be quite nice just to to come back here get the paint out but I'm gonna go um, just up the hill here I'll show you where I'm gonna go in a minute um, so I just get a slightly higher up view um, and also um, the other thing about it is you can probably hear it's, it's pretty windy out here so uh, um, this, uh, I'll be able to get up into the trees because it's quite exposed up there otherwise and uh, I think the paper will just be flying out over the place so yeah no it should be fun and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes. Here, this is the lane that leads back up to the trail and uh, as you can see as you can come around to the right here the, the trail runs over the top of the, uh, the viaduct there it's just an old railway line right up the top that's where I'm gonna aim for um, that's the uh, it's like a it's a circle it's a planted uh, circle so it's pretty ancient that's really interesting um, and also it's quite uh, sheltered up there so I should be able to get out of the wind walking across the top of the uh, the viaduct now uh, which is fantastic and I did um, a few paintings um, during the lockdown which uh, were titled Brick Kiln and uh, I just uh, if you can see behind me there's an old well there's a big pile of bricks behind me I don't know if you can see it I'll, I'll, I'll do a shot of it in a sec but, um, but yeah there was an old brickworks along here and I think it was kind of like a set up as a sort of uh, extra um, sort of industry because the rail was going past here the whole time so uh, yeah it's quite, quite interesting so uh, yeah, but it's a lovely old structure and I just find all these old pieces of um, architectural history quite interesting. You can uh, see behind me there's this uh, circular plantation of trees. In fact, the whole thing is kind of planted in a, a circular uh, form at the top of the hill. And, uh, you know, this is pretty ancient. And I just find it really fascinating the different um, stages that the landscape goes through over time. So, you know, this is an ancient woodland. Um, and then you've got the industrial revolution part of the landscape where you had the, the railway running through and, and now that's a, a, a walking and cycling trail. And so all the different uses and different stages and the different sort of uh, laying down and erosion um, of the landscape, I just find it um, really fascinating. Um, and, you know, it's certainly something that I think about when I'm doing my paintings. And I, I don't know how much of it actually makes it into the paintings, but I think it's, I just think it's really useful to, to be thinking about uh, how the landscape is formed, the processes that has gone th uh, that, have, that has gone through over time, and you know just to be kind of mindful of of what you're actually looking at, rather than thinking, oh, there's a cloud and there's a tree and there's a gate and you know, there's a horse. You know, it's kind of uh, you know just kind of thinking of it in in a slightly deeper kind of time. You know, so I just find it interesting. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, find somewhere to set up and uh, do some painting. I'm not going to paint the trees because. Uh, I'm not really a tree painter, but uh, <laughs> but it is interesting. I find it fascinating. Um, but yeah, I want to get back out here and uh, uh, just get a, a more a wider view because it is a really lovely day. So uh, let's see what I can get.
don't know if you can hear that in the background. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the quarry. Uh, so there isn't a, an air raid going on. It's the uh, it's the quarry over at uh, Baladin. They have the blasting sirens uh, going as a warning, and then uh, there's a massive uh, explosion that just kind of rumbled through the landscape just now. Really, uh, you know what it was? I think it'd be quite alarming. But I used to live quite close to uh, where we are now, so uh, I've heard it many times. It would be quite nice just to start off with a, um, a couple of really um, quick uh, black and white uh, sketches. There's a really good contrast out here today. Um, and just kind of finding the, the darks and lights and the... A few textures. quite like it actually I know it's only taken like a minute or so but I don't think that really matters it's got a nice sort of uh, airy feel about it so I might just actually leave that on I'll overdo it there's um, some really nice rocks over there and there's kind of tiny little swirly marks to get a sense of that the lambs are nervous Yeah, just trying to get a sense of the kind of movement, energy, light, um, all that kind of stuff that's going on here. Even the the siren, you know. Um, I did this a few a few years ago. Actually, I had a was a painting that's actually called Blasting Sirens, and that was from that. And I was making these kind of orangey, ready kind of pencil marks to sort of stand in for the uh, the, the sirens, because I think you know when you're out painting, you're not just painting. Um, you know, what you see, what's there, you know, but you know, they've got more, you know, got five senses, so get it all in, it's all good. And I don't like to have too many, um, uh, you know, preconceptions sort of about what I'm going to get out of a, a session. Um, so I think it's much more interesting just to turn up start throwing the paint around and using the process of painting to see what's there actually treat the the painting as a way of looking rather than trying to produce some kind of masterpiece um, actually just um, use the activity of painting To make myself look, to find things, little bits of dry field colour, uh, quite a pale sky that's going on today. Well, it's quite a nice day, it's quite cloudy and hazy. Um, I just want to get some of this colour in, but not too much. Um, let's knock it back a bit. And as always, um, I never really um, worry too much about uh, what the paintings look like while I'm doing them. I'm far more interested in just reacting to what's here, getting a sense of the movement and energy of space and light, a bit of the colour, and then when I get back to the studio, that's when I'll do the kind of thinking.
So yeah, um, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, as you can see, Bruce is getting a little bit bored now, so uh, we're going to work our way back to the car. I'm actually just waiting for the paintings to dry off a little bit. Um, yeah, because they all stick together, but yeah, you always get a little bit of that, but uh, it's not usually too much of a problem. Um, yeah, I mean, I got a few paintings out of it, and um, you know, I'll be taking them back to the studio and you know, tearing them up, having a little play around with them, see what I get. Um, I think it's quite uh, important not to worry too much at this stage, certainly for me, um, and not try and assess what I've got uh, while I'm still out here. There's just kind of too much information really. So um, I think I was saying during the, uh, while I was painting, that, uh, you know, I kind of like to separate out the processes between, um, you know, doing the painting and then kind of um, editing and, you know, thinking about what I've got. Because um, once I've got back to the studio, that's what I've got. And, you know, all this amazing information out here is, is a memory. So, um, and then I work with what I've got. So, yeah, but it's been good. I mean, you know, no complaints really. What, what more can you want? It's, uh, you know, a beautiful day, sitting up a hill, doing some painting. <laughs> um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate it if you can like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, it does help me out a lot. Um, so, uh, yeah, to be continued. Thanks for watching.